Welcome to my podcast. So I was told that I cannot make money salting driveways and sidewalks. I in fact can and have now. I just went knocking on doors for 20 minutes and asked if anyone wanted their driveway salted and gave them decent prices and now I've got three people that I'm about to go salt their stuff and make a little bit of money. So, if you told me that I couldn't make money salt in driveways, you should feel bad. The real question is, where's the price tag on this thing? Huh? I, don't, I don't see it. I also have no sleep. I didn't sleep last night. I'm wide awake. I don't know why. I'm just wide awake. Out here making money. On no sleep. So yeah, I guess uh, like Tuesday motivation or Wednesday or whatever it is. You're motivated now because, you know, you can do anything. You just got to look for the opportunities around you and shit. You know, life's great and all that. Fuck you. All right, going to do a little video here on a little side hustle I came up with. So I'm buying uh, ice milk. And I'm just going... <laughs> door knocking and offering to salt driveways before all the snow that comes in but that being said I don't know I don't know what I was about to say but oh yeah I already I already did it and I got a couple of counts okay just got out of Walmart those are the bags I got a little bucket I spent 33.37 so let's see how much money we can make out of this and uh, I'll hit you back up once I'm in the neighborhood. Okay, so I got um, about halfway through my first bag and I'm done with most, but I won't exceed half. And uh, yeah, I'll show you I'll show you what I'm doing, all right? So it was 10 bucks for that bag. And if I make it 15 bucks here, that means I lost five, so I made 10 bucks basically for like 25 minutes of work. look cool yes it does taking care of this I'm just kind of tossing it but I will do I will put a little more but from the YouTube video I watched this seems to be a sufficient amount and I'm only through my I'm just gonna use up the rest of this stuff though because this lady was real nice she gave me the beanie I'm wearing, actually. I'm not going to do the whole corny YouTube thing where, like, you know, I um, do this whole hurrah thing when I do, like, something real nice for this lady. But, yeah, I will be coming back and uh, I'll scrape off her driveway for free for giving me the beanie. It's kind of nice of her. Not a really good salesman because I really have trouble taking money from like poor people. And that's what I just ran into. So this lady, she's like making a big deal out. She gave me the beanie, right? Just being a nice lady and everything. And I offered to come back and just scrape the driveway for free. And she took that. But then she was having trouble cash in me the money. And it's like a whole thing. She's got to like transfer it to her sister through paypal who sends it to her on facebook and then it loads into her cat i don't i don't know what they got going on but i told her not to worry about it she's like no no babe. i'm like you don't have to like you're good she's like you bought the salt and i'm like yeah but the salt i spent like five dollars worth of salt you gave me the beanie that's probably like five bucks you know but i don't know i mean if she pays me that's up to her um if not that's my good fucking deed for the fucking day and uh now I'm going to roll over to what I think is a German house, because when I talked to them, they had a German accent. It's a wife that's home, and they're German, so they're very uh, responsible and efficient. They call me racist. That's a compliment. But, um, yeah, I'm just going to come salt the driveway here, and should be good. Okay, I didn't want to, like, I didn't want to record myself too much while I was doing that job, because, you know, there was a wife in there kind of watching me and stuff. But I'm, I'm through my first, or I'm almost through my first bag. I still got like probably a third of it left. And uh, 
yeah, I got 15 bucks. Um, I am a racist piece of shit, though, apparently, because that woman was not German. She was Hungarian. I asked where they were from. That being said, America, we got shit to learn from these fucking Europeans. God damn it. All right. We... Sorry. God. I'm trying to get better about that. Um, the... Yeah, the Europeans, man, they're squared the fuck away. Like, this lady, the, the husband, they just, like, looked at it, considered my offer, looked at each other, and were like, yeah, do it. And then, you know, I came, salted the driveway, knocked on the door, got paid, no problem. Now, here's my thing. Here's my little sales thing, right? If I knock on the door again, that gives her another chance to say no. Like, I don't want to give them a chance to say no after they say yes, you know? So, like, if I go knock on the door and say, okay, I'm ready to start the service. And she's like, oh, I'm sorry, we're actually not interested. It's like, oh, well, guess I just wasted my time, right? Not trying to do that shit. So I just put salt on the driveway, and then I knock on the door. Hey, it's done, you know, where's my money? But if, okay, so it's a gamble, right? Because, like, what if they're not home? And I just salted their driveway. I've only got five days left here in Iowa, which is where I'm at. Um, so, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much all I got as far as sales leads go. I'm pretty confident in that uh, poor lady that she's going to pay me. Not that I want her to, but I think she's just going to. I gave her my cash app. I'm not innocent. But she was very insistent. So, you know, she's going to make some money off. Or I'm going to make some, So if I get her to pay me and I get them to pay me, that's 30 bucks. And that's all out of a $10 bag, and I'm not even all the way through it yet. I got probably maybe almost another sidewalk and driveway out of that. 10 bucks turned it into like almost 40, right? That being said, I've only got $15 cash, and all that counts is what you have, right? So right now, e even though I'm... <laughs> okay, even though I'm still technically losing profit... Or, no, 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 sorry. Even though I'm not getting as much profit as I would have liked, I'm already north of the one bag. Like, I've already paid off one bag. That's 15 bucks, you know? Anyways, I'm going to go do some more sales. It's really hard to record the sales because, like, you don't want to be awkward. I'm never going to close the deal if I have a camera in their face. So, yeah, I'll just hit you after I do my pitch. But just so you know, my pitch is really simple. Because I've done sales work before. And yeah, if I, if I was working with some company and, you know, I had to be Mr. Professional and like, you know, I had a fucking polo tucked in with a clipboard and all that bullshit and I knock on a door, you know, hi, I'm Jeremiah and I'm with whatever fucking company and blah, 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 you know, um, and that's not what I'm doing. All I'm doing is, hi, I'm Jeremiah. Um, usually I roll through the, these neighborhoods every time. There's a snowstorm coming in. Just try to, you know, I, I try to salt people's sidewalks and driveways. And they're like, okay, how much? And I'm like, I give them a cheap-ass offer. And apparently the cheap-ass offers are fucking good. Because, like, they, like, don't flinch at it. And I'm still actually making a pretty good profit margin here just off my salt. So, um, yeah, I guess I'll get to work, guys. Uh, let's see how this fucking goes. All right, I knocked on a few doors. Um, and... My third one, I got a sale. I don't know how much he put in my pocket, but he said it's more than the 15 I asked for. And we kind of hit it off. He was wearing a Tennessee hat. I told him I'm from Tennessee. I mean, I'm not like originally from Tennessee, but I've been living there, so when I'm here, I'm tight. I don't know. But we hit it off. We started talking about business and life and like all these different things. And pretty cool cat, you know. I've, I've talked, you know, I talked to the poor lady. I talked to this guy. I just, the, I didn't get a sale on her, but. It, um, the, oops, the, um, lady over here at this house is a very rich lady, um, that I could not convince to let me salt her fucking driveway. And she came to me with a very good objection that I cannot like, you know, um, overcome not yet because I haven't figured it out, but basically um, the objection is that the salt damages the grass and that it's much better with a, a snowblower, doesn't damage the grass. I guess that makes sense. 
and I don't know how to overcome that, so I just told her thanks. But yeah, I get. She's like, if you get a snowblower, feel free to come back. I'm like, bitch, you think I'm getting a fucking snowblower? Like, don't you understand that like this is a five day thing? I just fucking told you. But uh, nah, but no, nah, I'm I'm just messing around. She she's a pretty nice lady, but it's cool because you get to meet people and get to know people and see people in different situations and different ways of life and and shit. And, you know, do their, you know, salt their driveway or whatever. Do Like, literally, this is going to take me five minutes to do this guy's sidewalk. And I got, I'll count the money. Um, all right, so this is the wad of cash he gave me. Let's see. All right. So I've got, I've got fucking $5 here. You see the five? Okay, cool. Six, seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen so actually i guess he gave me exactly fifteen but i'm not complaining he's a nice guy he's fucking cool and plus that's what i asked for he may have said he gave me more but i mean what i'm gonna go fucking fuss over a dollar like fuck off you know this is good shit i'm at 30 bucks now um i'll tell you how much salt I'm, i've used up um after this you know i'm hoping to not break into my other two bags yet. I want to just keep this first bag and try to do it with the first bag because it's a really small little area. So, anyways, um, take it easy. Or, not, I'm not saying bye. I'll see you on the next part of the clip. Alright, this one I'm totally going to record on because there's nobody here. But the sidewalk goes from, like, obviously, like, I guess, like, right there all the way down to the edge of that gravel sidewalk and then right up there and i don't know like if i'm supposed to do the porch because like does the snow really get in there but like i don't want to piss them off so i guess i'll just do it but then like what if it doesn't snow and they got it i don't know whatever i'm doing it la -dee da grabbing my salt throwing it down the sidewalk la -dee da just throwing the salt just getting all getting all the salt out there just you know lots of salt i honestly don't even know what like a correct amount of salt is i watched a youtube video but it wasn't very clear um but I, one thing he did say was that more salt is not better he said you need enough salt so with that warning in mind I, i'm guessing because it gets really slippery maybe you know maybe it gets really slippery when the salt gets wet i don't know but also just engaging people in conversation getting to know them especially once they like, even after you close the sale, just still just getting to know them, being nice and everything, like, you know, makes people interested, makes them want to invest in you. Like, oh, you know, this is a nice guy, I want to help him out. You know, and yeah, you can call it manipulative, but if being manipulative is just mean, means you're just being fucking nice when they already agreed to the sale, I don't really see the problem. But, let's see, I'm almost to the end of my bucket here. But if you think about it, I'm already at 30 bucks like that I have, right? So I'm almost to the point where I've paid off everything that I spent. Um, and if that lady sends me the money she said she would, then that's, you know, then I'm, now I'm profiting, right? But if I can just get even one more house, I will have made up for all the salt I purchased. Isn't that awesome? Okay, empty bucket, time to go fill up. Let's see, am I gonna break into my bag or my, my next bag? Hey, even if I do, I'm still, I'm still in good shape, making good money at this. Fifteen bucks is not a lot to charge, so this is great value. There was another thing I was looking at. It was like ice melt, but it was a different. It was like a name brand or whatever. Um, and you know, I got great value because this was nine dollars and ninety-seven cents per bag, or something like that. You guys have the receipt. I showed you. Just, just go look at it. That's all you can do is just go look at it. R.I.P. Ed Bassmaster. I don't know why I said R.I.P. It's not dead, but Ed Bassmaster is a legend. If you haven't ever seen him, all you can do is look at it. Guys, all you can do is look at it. He's a YouTuber. Go look at him. I know I don't have any subscribers, so I can't actually like promote the guy. But regardless, it's still a good dude. Just check him out. He's hilarious. At least he was when I was like 12. Okay. That's the end of the bag. 
And if I can get away with it, I'm not going to be using anything from the other back. Almost down here to the end of the driveway, or the sidewalk. Beautiful day. It's really cold out. My fingers are frozen. But I'm hustling, making money. I thought about buying gloves, but I was like, you know what? I got gloves back in Tennessee, dog. I can tough it out. Profit a little more. But if you think about it, even if I got the gloves, I'd still be profiting, wouldn't I? Think about it. You don't you could keep your normal job and not touch that income to get things that you want. You could just like say that you need a little salt, right? Like for your driveway, whatever. Well, buy like three bags, take two of the bags and just, you know, go sell all that salt. And then boom, your bag's not only covered, but now it's paid for. Like you're in your paid. You profited. Now you can go buy more salt. Not have to touch your income. You know? Um This guy might be giving me a job in Tennessee actually. See, so like I'm networking too, you know? I was talking to this one, that one poor lady, right? Now she's got her problems. You know, she's disabled and all that. But there's a lot of motherfuckers out there with anxiety or whatever the fuck. Bro, I get it. Door knocking's hard, but like, like just do one a day. Fuck it. You know? Like, seriously. One a day. If you do one a day. And if I'm getting one out of three doors that I knock on so far, because that's what the rate has seemed to have been, uh, which is actually a really good profit, but I'm not selling vacuum cleaners. My pitch is like, it's about the snow. You know? Um, they want me to prepare you for the snow. <laughs> and most of the time, or not most of the time, but some of the times, the answer is yes. And say you're not as successful as me. You know, I do have a couple years of sales, so maybe I'm all, and I, I've done open mic nights, and I'm a little more comfortable talking in front of people. You know, I'm not really that scared. But even if, like, you only got one out of ten, you knock on a hundred doors a day. Six hours. That's ten jobs. Fifteen bucks. Right? Fifteen bucks. 10 jobs, that's 150 bucks a week. Or sorry, a day. 150 bucks a day. Now granted, this isn't a permanent job, right? Like you're not gonna be able to do this long term, but look for the opportunities, man. That's all I did. Like, you know, I noticed it was about to snow. I thought about salt, salt's really cheap. Literally it was, you know, nine bucks for a 40 pound bag. And, um, you know, like, now I got a little bit of money. You gotta do a good job on these people. Like, if, as you can see, I'm getting some salt on his uh, bench. Just make sure I push that off. Clean it up for him a little bit. But, you know, you also gotta understand, because I was thinking about other things, like, the way, like, I, I had gotten glumps of salt and stuff on the, uh, you know, on some of the sidewalks and stuff, and I was just kicking it around with my foot, and I was like, it looked much more professional if I was using a broom. But then I was like, yeah, but I'm charging them 15 bucks, so they're getting a $15 job. It's not like I'm not trying to do my best, but like, I'm not gonna go buy a fucking broom. I'm only making 15 bucks a job. That doesn't make sense, right? And ultimately, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this money, but I'm definitely gonna try to get some extra salt. And then just leave it at mom's house, because my mom needs some salt, you know? Shoot, I'm probably going to go salt her stuff after this. Um, so, you know, you go visit family for a bit. Help them out. Unless they're rich or whatever, then, you know, I guess they don't need it. But. Okay, well, I'm going to warm up a little bit in the car. And, uh, yeah, I'll get back with you then. So I got... Um, one, one thing I forgot to tell you earlier. Like, if you're going to... Um, knock on a person's door and a dog runs up and tries to attack you puff your chest out and act very confident even if you don't feel like it and you're scared shitless because dogs they don't really smell fear i don't believe that i think they read your body language so if you're like cowering then yeah they're gonna fucking try to bite you or something because they they think they can get away with it but if they see you as a threat like oh shit i don't want to fuck with that guy he's not afraid of me at all then they're not going to fuck with you. So it was this big German Shepherd. And I, I puffed my chest out. 
but I wasn't stepping towards him either. You don't need to be aggressive. You just need to be like, basically, you just got to stick up for yourself, but don't push it far, you know? Otherwise, you put them in fight or flight mode. And as long as you're not in their tori territory, they're usually f in flight mode, you know? Um, and, and yeah, anyways, I'm going to go knock on this door. All right, door knocking's getting a little rough. Just ran into grandma with uh, COVID and <sighs> couldn't take her money. She was, uh, you know, she was just all torn up and everything. And, like, she wasn't going anywhere for a week and a half anyways. Like, she doesn't need me to put salt on her driveway. I felt bad about that. I probably could have gotten that deal. I was about to get a, the biggest one. It was going to be 30 bucks. It was a bigger driveway. Probably would have cut, you know, half a bag. Five bucks, 25 bucks profit. But, you know, that's the thing about sales, man, is, like, people always look at people like they're shitty and it's because they are a lot of times they get fucking commission breath you know they get desperate they just they don't care about anyone they just want to get the sale i don't care i don't have some fucking corporation telling me i must get x amount of sales if i decide i don't want to sell to this grandma that has covid because i don't think she needs my fucking product i don't have to fucking sell it to her door knocking's getting a little rough aside from that too like getting a lot of no's now a lot of people get discouraged by that, but the proof is in the sales you, you got, you know? Like, I already know this works. This isn't something that doesn't work. This is something that works because it's worked, right? I've done three now. Um, so yeah, technically 45 bucks, but I've got a, a, a it only counts if I got it, right? So. 30 bucks is what I got. I think I spent 33 is what we talked about. 33 and some change. And, um, you know, so if I can get one more that pays me, then I'm in the green, you know? So that's my goal. Um, I'm going to try to get a bigger house this time. I'm going to start focusing on these bigger houses. I think they're more lucrative. Um, and yeah, you know, you're, you're having trouble door knocking. Fuck it, man. Like, honestly, today, if you're watching this video and this video ever actually catches some traction, fucking go find some kind of hustle, dog. Like, whatever makes sense where you're at, figure it out. And then just start knocking on doors and don't be afraid. Uh, I kind of tripped up on my price a little bit. I was like, eh, you know, 40, 50. No. But that was because I wasn't confident. I thought that was a high price. That you can't be doing that shit when you're in sales, man. You gotta, you know, say the price with confidence you can't say it like you're not sure you got to say it like this makes sense you know um but we'll see we'll see i'm gonna go ahead and shut this off and look for a big house i don't know i'm, I'm gonna go knock on this other door for a small house i'm tempted to try to push the price but i'm already making pretty decent profit on each one i do anyways so it's like maybe i shouldn't be getting greedy and i should just be happy with the 15 right so, well, I got another no. Here's the thing about it. Uh, my market, I guess, for this little hustle is convenience. Because everyone knows the salt is cheap as shit. You know what I mean? Like, people know that the salt's cheap. Like, they know that I can get a 40-pound bag for 10 bucks, And that I'm probably only using, like, a quarter of the bag on their, their thing. So they know I'm only using like $2.50 a product and I'm charging them 15, right? Or even like if it was five bucks a product, charging them 15 for like 10 minutes of work. <laughs> and like, yeah, you know, maybe per hour I'm not making more than like 20 or 10, I don't know. But it's like, what am I doing in the in between? I'm talking on my phone, making YouTube videos and shit. Like, who the fuck cares, man? I guess I do vlogs now. I guess that's what this is. This is a this is a vlog. I just do vlogs now. I always thought vlogs were just so cringy and like attention seeking. Like, hey everyone, look at me. I'm so fucking important. You know, you just want to hear about me. like. I used to think it was stupid, but I don't know. This is. I mean, this is fun. It's like I'm showcasing this little hustle, you know. And I'm kind of doing like a vlog in between. Uh, it's kind of. It's kind of. It's kind of cool. I don't, know, I, don't know, I don't know. And if you don't like it, fuck you. Don't watch me. Um, but normally what I like to do when I'm door knocking is I like to park the car somewhere 
safe? Okay, I'll buckle. Y'all don't want to hear that. Normally, I try to park a car somewhere safe and then just kind of go around the, uh, you know, neighborhood on foot. But it's so cold here. My toes are frozen solid. Like, I'm just riding in the car or the truck. You know, I should have recorded the pitch I just did. I did it from my car. Caught this lady while she was walking out to her car. It was a no. But, I mean, I didn't even have to get out of the car. So, whatever. It's a numbers game. You just got to keep hitting the spots, man. You know, you just got to keep fucking going. And eventually, you're good to go. Just had an idea though. What if I like go salt a business? Alrighty, I got a big house I'm about to go pitch. I'm gonna try to do this one for 25 bucks because it's uh it's got a lot more shit to fucking cover. Let's see what happens. No answer. Woo! -hoo! All right, fucking rough, man. Because I didn't sleep at all last night, right? So I went back for a little lunch break because you know my mom's house is like five minutes. Um, house is like five minutes away and I just fell asleep for like two or three hours and now I'm like it's like I'm hungover or something um and you know I love my current sales approach because it's really low pressure it's like do you want to fucking do this or do you not no all right whatever um but I'm not getting sales now and so that means it's time to step up the asshole-ishness a bit, you know what I mean, um, not, not on purpose, but, like, if someone says no, just kind of expanding on that, like, why not, you know, not being disrespectful, just, like, hi, right, are you interested, uh, no, oh, why not, a lot of times you can get a, or I was, you know, taught whenever I was first starting sales that most of the sales you get are going to be after, Every, most sales you get, the person's going to say no initially. I just don't like the high-pressure sales tactics. And so far, I didn't really need to use them because, like, I was getting work without them. Because I'm not selling vacuum cleaners. You know what I mean? I'm selling salt. It's like it's something people need. There's actually a city ordinance. I just found this out. There's a city ordinance mandating sidewalks must be free of all snow. So, you know, it's to my advantage. Um, but, anyhow. Back to work, I guess. And uh, just keep grinding. My little brother gets out in like a half hour. So, I got like a half hour to sell some shit. <laughs> Two more no's. Oh, my God. Cut me a break, damn it. That must be like the, the 20th, 25th no of the day. But you know what? The positive way of looking at it is like every no I get is one less no till I get to my yes, right? I don't know. That's a bunch of motivational bullshit. <laughs> Knocking on doors sucks, man. It's just, it is what it is, man. Just get the fuck over it. All right. I'm going to go try to get these guys. See what happens. Um, yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, I'll be leaving after Christmas, but if before oh, okay. then you need me, by all means, call me. Okay, sounds good. I'll be yeah. getting phone. Yeah, thanks. That's a Thank good you. idea. Um, Are you doing it while you're traveling? Yeah, I'm actually uh, from out of town, just visiting my mom, and uh, oh, cool. they're still going to work, and little brother's at school, and I was like, I'm trying cool. to do a little something, you know? Cool. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Alright, um, okay, so you're Jeremiah. Uh, yes, sir. Got a couple more no's, but one of them was, can I have your number, because I might call you in the future. Now, here's the thing, man, I'm only here till after Christmas, so, like, but if I, if I, like, this is where I lived, 
I would be able to develop this little hustle a bit, it seems, because I've had a handful of people take my number. I haven't really mentioned them because they weren't yeses, but, you know, now that I've had a few of them, you know, it's kind of important to note, you know, networking, it's really big, you know, like, you're talking to someone, hey, you got any friends or anyone you think might want it? Oh, well, you know, um, Timothy down the street is, like, 179 years old, and, well, gee golly, he just, he really needs someone to just, you know, do his stuff. I'm just driving like a jackass right now on accident and strove the wrong way here, but it's all good now. But yeah, you know, so like through just talking to people, that's uh, that's, that's big enough, you know, just puts you in contact with other people. So I don't know. I mean, I still got my 40 pounds of salt. I'm damn near paid off. I'll probably call that lady and try to collect on her because she, she asked for a reminder so, I won't push her, because, you know, I, whatever. But I did do the work, so, you know, and she did ask for a reminder. I, I'll call and just say, hey, you, you asked for a reminder, and then I'll see what happens. Hey, y'all, I got three set. No, I'm just kidding. I got two more no's. <laughs> but, you know. This is where it gets weird, because it's like, when you start getting a bunch of no's, you start expecting no's, and you try not to, but, like, it just, you're a human, you can't really, you know, like, it just kind of happens, you know? So, I'm trying to keep the energy up, because, like, if I don't, I'm never going to get a sale, right? So, I don't know, I don't have much more time, maybe eight more minutes of door knocking left before I had to head over and pick my little brother up, but, uh... Yeah, I guess we'll see what happens. Who knows? Maybe I'll get lucky. Okay. I'm just... I got a couple more, like, non-answers. Like, a few people just didn't answer the door. So I'm gonna go pick my little brother up and call this lady. And I'm gonna screen record it. So I got 30 bucks sold in, in the pocket. And I got one lady that's supposed to be paying me, like, any minute now in Cash App. I followed up with her. So, wasn't the biggest success... But this was day one. I still have 80 pounds of salt in the car. I've got nothing better to do. My mom just told me she's got a very busy day tomorrow. So she's going to be gone all day. Little brother's got school. While they're gone, I'm just going to go out there and work these neighborhoods. So that'll be the end of today's video. And um, Caden, say hi. hi. <laughs> Deuces.